one of the Valley's hardest rockers with a growing fan base and a rock star name. This monster of rock picked up his first set of drumsticks when he was just four years old. My name is Rucker and I play the drums. When I was pregnant with Rec, I decided to put music on my belly every single night. So I would put Bob Marley on, because it was soothing and calming, love. And then I would put Breaking Benjamin on. I love all vibes of music. My favorite music to play is probably metal. It's fast and dirty. It's just like bangy and crashy and like all double kicks like yeah. It's just like an old soul. Music is never not on in our house. It's pretty funny. Huge music family, no talent. Oh yeah, we have no <laughs> talent, <laughs> none whatsoever. My dad is the roadie and my mom is a stylist. We always go to shows and festivals and music stuff. Warp Tour came in town and he was out there with us and threw him on my shoulders and he's two years old and banging along to the band that's playing and everyone around us is taking pictures. I just kept practicing and practicing and my mom and dad like downstairs are like, oh, it's really good. Now I have Eddie and then he took me to another level and now I got it down. Record seven, he's got his own band. So I've taught a lot of kids from like five to like 16, 18 and, and even like adults and stuff like that. But being able to pay attention and focus like leaps and bounds a little above a lot of kids his age, which is really cool and really, really exciting for me because I, I get to throw a lot of stuff at him. The School of Rock is our happy place, seriously. It's our home away from home. It's our other family. It's our rock family. The School of Rock's been around since 1998, and here in the Valley, Wrecker enrolled two years ago when he was five, and he had this passion for rhythm. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four. For him to actually focus on something, that didn't surprise me when he was in the lessons, no. Yeah, he takes to like structure really well. Yes. It seems like he always just constantly seems to be building and like wanting to learn and push himself. He was a beginner, but his aptitude for picking things up was incredible. He was just like a little sponge behind the drum kit, not to mention hilarious and awesome to hang out with. He's a really positive kid. His drive and like actually walking into the practice room and you sit down, you pick up the sticks and it's, it's go time. So really I'm just trying to get him to have fun. Most of the time when I'm listening to like record play, whether it's like a song we're working on or whatever, I'm thinking about how I would play it and like maybe just tearing it apart a little bit. Look at looking for those like little problem areas, the extra notes he might throw in or the throw the notes he's like kind of omitting, bringing those to his attention so he can like find those errors himself. Boom, cha, doom, doom, cha. Nice. Second half, doom, cha, doom, doom, cha. Dude, perfect. You wanna just give it a shot, go for it? Yeah. All right, cool. One, and two, and three, and four, and <laughs> Nice, man. He doesn't even realize at seven, he's inspiring other kids in the School of Rock and kids who see him play to want to follow their dream and work hard. And I think that's my favorite thing about Wrecker. If you're doing like a fast beat and you just use your whole arm like if you're going you'll waste energy in your arm so you got to use your wrist like that so you got to like flick your wrist see your ice is gone already no because i ate it all oh you ate it <laughs> So first Fridays, we stumbled upon probably like a year and a half ago. Through um, Christian. Through Christian, his first drum instructor. I think just the vibe being out there was really cool, just 
people walking around. The Everyone's look on kinda, Rex's face yeah. when he was playing in front of people came around. just a ton of people that he didn't know, and people would stop and they would freak out because they were like, this, this kid is so little. And you could just see Rex just light up. Like, this is his jam. When I get on the drum set, all my nerves go away. So like, if I'm playing 35 shows this year, crazy. It does feel like a lot, but it just makes me happy. The crowd is packed. Um, sometimes the police officers have to push them over and like, and they look over and like, oh, it's right, keep playing. <laughs> I like to play the drums and be a musician, but I'm still a kid. He's somebody that we could see playing arenas someday if he keeps doing what he's doing. Every day, Rex surprises me. Rex writes the soundtrack to our crazy, fun life. <laughs>